All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to explain how to gear your characters, what gear to look out for, how you want to go about getting getting gear, how about using gear, which gear you want to upgrade, uh, how you want to assemble the gear in a great gear Tetris system that a lot of people didn't get. A lot of my friends didn't even get it, and I'd, I'd, I'd consider them not to be that foolish, but a lot of my friends didn't even get it at launch. So um, I think it's important I cover this before you guys upgrade uh, what I hope, what I hope you didn't do, uh, the wrong pieces. Um, so I'm, I wish I got this video out earlier, but I was busy doing stuff. I haven't also been playing my global too much. I've been taking it very slowly and casually because I think if I overdo it again, I'll get burned out, I'll get bored of the game, and then I won't, I'll quit again, like I did on Korea after like three months. Um, so let's cover gear first. Okay, now the greatest question I think most people have is, um, well, you don't, you don't have that question because you don't know, I think. But how do you want to assemble your gear? The way you want to assemble your gear is you always go for two pieces. You never go for four pieces. Why? Are the four pieces that bad? No, the four pieces actually have some really good effects for the most part, which I'm going to switch my global to again to show you guys. Like this base attack one, right? Damage dealt plus 10%. That's really nice. But to run the four pieces, you will have to run these pieces as well. Okay, and these pieces are always... So the, the pieces always have guaranteed main stats, right? So the staff will always have um, magic attack and this... It's always going to be a um, 2 by 3 and a 2 by 2 They'll always have the attacking main stat, and then there'll be a 2x3 two by, uh, two by and a 3x2 for the defensive stats, right? For defense and HP. And it's always like this. This one can vary between attack and magic attack, and then this one, same thing. Magic attack or attack. So if you even go to the shop, uh, the best way to show you this uh, is if we go to the shop and we go to exchange center, we go to this one, yep. Click this, right? It's random. It can either main, main stat can either be attack or magic attack, right? I don't think I can click these yet. And if you go on this one, uh, main set's always guaranteed defense, and then this one's always going to be HP, okay? And you don't want that because you lose out on a lot of stats. So if I go to this one, and we go to this magic attack one, this gives me 3,000 magic attack, okay? Now, if I uh, if I wanted to go for the fourth set of this one because it's good, then um, I would have to equip one of uh, these things, right? One of these long ones to give defense, and then I would lose 3,000 magic attack, right? And then at the small one, I would also have to place with a sideways one, and then I would lose magic attack again. And not only is it bad that you're losing this much magic attack, it's also bad because the four piece, um, the side piece is horrible for this Tetris system, because it will always leave you with one row. So if I go to my Mars, I believe, which I don't know is down there, there you go. If I go to my Mars, if I use this defense set, I have a different one, but I, I, I don't know who is on, and honestly, I'm, I'm too lazy to check right now. But these ones, right? Uh, even if you run two of these, you would be stuck with this one row here that you couldn't fill, and that's not good because th that's you like every 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 one of these you don't have filled, you lose out on stats on. The thing is for the defensive unit specifically, it's fine because the four uh, piece enhanced defense set is really strong, and you you can get away with just running the defensive ones and the HP ones, and it works. Okay, you can run them with full attack. Like my Veto, I usually like Veto is a defensive unit. He's gonna come be on global next week, I believe. I usually run him with like a physical attack set, right? So I run this one, um, so I get the regular attack, okay? So regular attack, uh, regular attack, regular attack main set, right? And what you do is you pair up these two pieces, okay? Now this one, I don't even have, th you usually will have three effects because you, you have six pieces, two, two, two. Um, but I didn't get it, right? And then even like prioritizing the set piece over the stats is also wrong. Like even if you like, if you replace this one with the defensive one, which one isn't uh, two piece? Like this one, right? If I replace this one uh, with uh, so th these two don't have their set bonus fulfilled, right? The regular penetration and the regular attack one. Okay, the enhanced version that comes later. I'm, I'm gonna go to like how you get gear and how where you get the gear, which one, right? Because you might have never seen this enhanced attack one with the star. Um, but uh, the difference is that if I ran a defensive one over here, that's still three thousand magic attack I'm losing, just for the benefit of like. Um, plus five defense penetration, whatever, whichever this one is, I'm not too sure again, um, right? It's not worth it. So you always just wanna run uh, four long attack pieces and three uh, two by twos, okay? That way you have your entire thing filled and you all want them to be either magic attack or attack. How do you know which one you want? You pretty much just look at the base stat, which one's higher, okay? So if I go to a character that doesn't have gear, right, Jack, okay? His attack is much higher than his magic attack. So I wanna stack attack on him. Why does it matter? Because uh, since both skills, like, if you go to a skill, um, they always scale with both. 
right? Uh, they always do 1990. They always do the same amount, okay? They'll never, like, switch. They'll never be one that's, like, super high, except Asta, I think, maybe, because Asta doesn't have any uh, magic attack, right? They, they remember it, and it, that he doesn't have any in the show. So I assume his skills don't... They only do attack? Yeah, they only do attack, but it's half because it's, uh, you know, uh, he only he has a very high attack stat. But regardless of that, how do you uh, how do you know? Yeah, it's just a higher stat, and why do you want to do that, even though the skills scale of both, uh, and it technically wouldn't matter which one you increase, it's because if we go to, um, if we go to talents, um, which I haven't even done on this, uh, on global, uh, hopefully they don't take me for a whole tutorial here, but there you go, you see attack 7%, the other one, this one right here, is magic attack 7%, uh, okay, sick, if they could let me, thank you, okay, alright, there you go, okay, uh, damage dealt, okay, there's, uh, it's, uh, attack, and then where's the magic attack one? Magic attack, 7%, okay, so you wanna have one that you just stack, and then you increase it with these percentage bonuses, right? Like, 7% attack, or 7% magic attack, uh, and then also, like, certain cards will only do one type of attack, um, as opposed to, like, this one that does all attack, right? Um... All attack, and then for like a mage combo like that runs magic attack. For example, Valtos is really strong for various reasons. But one of the big ones is obviously increases magic attack by seventy percent. So if you if you would split your attack and magic attack, you wouldn't get the full seventy percent bonus to your damage. Where it is if if you only have magic attack, then a whole seventy percent goes directly into your damage, as to like only half of that being into your damage if you have to split. Right? You get it. I know you get it. Okay. So what you want to do for your gear? Um, if you go to my Leopold, like, he has, like, sort of okay gear, right? Magic attack main stat, magic attack main stat, magic attack main stat, magic attack main stat, magic attack, magic attack. Oh, well, these ones, these ones, I didn't get magic attack yet. But that's how you want to do it, right? This, this is how you want to do it. You want to have um, these four, like, long ones, and then three small ones. And you want to make sure that they are of the main stat category, okay? The main stat magic one. Because otherwise... I'm telling you the defensive one, like if I equip this one just because I wanted the four piece and the defense penetration, it wouldn't matter. Like it wouldn't, it, I would lose damage. Okay, so you want to get your main stat as high as possible, right? To like 60k magic attack, or like how much do I have on my, uh, oh, that's, well, that's the wrong character. Um, like 35k, right? Or like newer characters can get to like 50k even, or if you have better rolls, right? And I didn't have the best rolls. Um, you can go even higher. But you want to stack one source of damage, and that's why you just want to have these stacks, okay? You you first worry about just having the right main stat, and then if you can, you want to have the two-piece, like this one, match up with this one, this one, match up with this one, and this one, match up with this one, and then you have one off-piece that you just want to be a good piece, okay? Uh, you can't fulfill everyone's set, so one piece will be no set. So that, set, that one, one piece, that offset piece that you have equipped, just make sure that that's like a piece that just has a really good subset at least, okay? And if it doesn't, at the start, it doesn't matter, okay? The way I gear acquisition works is it's really cancer, even with the buffs, it's not the greatest. So um, it'll be like months before you have a full set of LR gears for every character you want. Um, and then even more months to have really good subsets for those. So for now, really just focus on the main stat and hope you get the, co the correct subsets, right? Because one thing you can not you can do too is if you get a correct subset, um, you can enchant them and you can... Um, Increase them if you use these things, right? And then you could push for those subsets to be even higher, and that's good and all. But for lo for the most part, especially early on, you wouldn't you wouldn't want to worry about it, okay? And the subsets that are good, it's pretty obvious. But like crit rate, uh, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and then like magic attack percent, which I don't have on any of my things apparently. Um, you want uh, you want as well, okay? Or like attack if it's an attacking character, right? So my Yami, uh, I stack him with attack because he has high base attack. And then this guy, I stack with magic attack because he has high ma magic attack and it works better for his kit. Okay, I think you understood this. Now, how do you go about getting gear? The way you get gear is, uh, for the most part, 99% of the gear you're going to get is going to be from just getting into the gear dungeon. Okay, now, there's three different ones and these drop different types of gears. Okay, so if I go on this one, this will drop the speed one, the attack one, the defense one. Okay, we can go on rewards, boom. Do you see? Okay, well, actually, okay, also another thing. It depends by stage, but I'll get to this later, right? Let's go to the LR one, okay? I think this is this is where it, like we I can start explaining stuff. Okay, so this one will have you, this with the star is a different set than the regular one, right? So this one will give me an enhanced speed one. I, I, don't, I say enhanced, but it's just like the well, it's just a better one. Right? It's just a better one. Now, this one actually gives you speed, right? Um, gives you five percent increased speed uh, for two turns at the start of a wave, whereas the regular speed one, um, which is also in this one, I think. No, the regular speed one would be the next one again. I think. Let's see. Yeah, the next, uh, okay, there is. Uh, probably wasn't the other one too, I'm just blind. 
This one doesn't properly give you speed, right? It does it if you have a, state, a status ailment. It doesn't like straight up give you the speed, which is why this one's obviously better because it straight up gives you the speed. Plus five speed for four piece. By the way, on your speed characters, you can do the same thing as your defense characters. We just like you just go for the set because their stats don't matter that much. That you don't need your William to do big damage. He, he won't anyway, right? He's there for support, and you just want him to be faster than the opposing William. So therefore, uh, you don't care about that. But I will make character specific gear guides. But for the most part, DPS, uh, you just want to have medic attack, four pieces, long ones, and then three uh, two by twos, and that's it. Um, yeah, these gear sets, right, like this one's super good, this one, right, attack and magic attack 7% increase, right, again, I wish the 4 piece was worth it, but it's not, but you run 2 pieces, you run these top 2 pieces, right, these bottom 2, if you get unlucky, bro, it is what it is, but these top 2, this, this, this is the ones you want to get, okay, these are the ones you want to get, because they will have attack, magic attack as their main stat, okay, um, so if I click these, uh, boom, this will be attack or magic attack, this one will be attack, magic attack, and then these two will be HP and defense, so you don't want those, those are not good, and you unlock these special ones at 10. Okay, at 10. I didn't even know which one you unlock them at, but you unlock them at 10. Okay, and then it depends which one you want to farm. Okay, so if you want to farm the enhanced defense one, um, you go to 15 on this one, right? But you see there's no regular regular defense, right? You see there's no regular defense, it's just an enhanced one. Uh, if I go to... It's not 14, is it? it's uh, 12. No, okay, 14, yeah. 14 has the regular defense as well and the regular speed. Uh, but no regular attack. If I go to 13, will it have regular attack? It will have the regular attack as well, right? So the rates for Alar gear and all these are the same, okay? So if you can beat if you can beat 13 and you just want Alar gear, just beat 13, okay? The rate is the same between 13, 14, and 15. The only thing that changes is the type of drops you get, okay? So if you're trying to farm the enhanced ones only, obviously you should try and aim to beat 15. Um, but sometimes you want to have the base ones because you want to complete a set or something But for the most part you don't so you just want to go to 15 But at this very start just try and farm up 13 as much as you can Another little tip I can give you is if you set up set up your team and I'm gonna explain what like how you want to set up your teams um, These have different ones by the way. These all have different ones. Okay uh, So you want to have different teams for all of these because they're these are green enemies blue enemies red enemies, right? So blue team uh, green team and red team for these ones uh, What you want to do as well, uh, which is very important is um, even if you think if you think you can beat the game like this the stage on like a 20% chance like one out of every five runs you'll get lucky enough to beat it on auto you should do it okay um because just getting that one or two the, those one or two pieces in like 20 runs and if you fail you don't spend stamina on global as far as i'm concerned they change that so um as soon as you be, you, you're able to do that uh you can just run it auto or because obviously um you can dispatch a dispatch now what you want to do is you dispatch instead uh but you know, if you want to farm more than just a dispatch is available, right? If you have like 2,000 samurai dispatch, you can only do 50 runs in. Then what you want to do is you just, you, you beat it, even if you can't beat it. I used to do like uh, 200 runs and like 127 of those would actually be wins. But I would get the LR gear rather than be stuck on the UR gear one, right? Uh, because I would, those runs would at least give me something sometimes, right? And that's that's how you can like increase your speed. Because I'm telling you, like you, you might be able to beat stages like 50k above you. Right, one out of like ten tries, and if you can, hey, you have the dispatch system now. Obviously, you need to require power, which is going to be difficult. Uh, but yeah, I've been farming this one. Um, I think, oh, well, not fifteen. Um, I've been farming nine, and I think I can go to ten. Um, but obviously, big jump. I think I can go to ten. I'll have to manual play it though, and then I can dispatch. And then obviously, um, oh, a, a third, yeah, thirteen is the goal. But I, I well, we'll see. Once you can do these, these, these will like all be like pretty natural. But for these, I'll f full, first need full UR sets. I need to get all my characters to LR, which I'm in the process of doing. Um, but how do you want to go about teams on these? Okay, so very different on all these. Ah, uh, okay, I have to go inside. Okay, so what you want for the this red one, okay? The teams you want for this red one is going to be something like... I can go on my... This is going to be easier if I could just go on this one. Um, which I'm doing patrol right now. I'll cancel it. It's fine. Um... Uh, yep. No, it's this one. Sick. Okay, let's just cancel early. Oh, I actually got an LR piece. Is this this is not the one I want though? This is the, I think this is the defense one. Uh, I can't check here because the game's really good, but we can go in. I'll, I'll check. Actually, I'm, I'm curious now. Let's see. Hey, this is the defense one, right? It's the defense one. See, I got shafted. You hate to see it. So the teams you want for this one, okay, are as follows. This is a full blue team, okay. Uh, you don't necessarily need this exact thing. Um, this is what I used to farm, and it was the quickest for me. Uh, what you want to do is you can just... You, the, the dream come of this is you run Lotus and Mars together, okay? 
if you have them. If you don't, if you don't have Mars, you can run Sol. Sol is good for this. They actually, I actually like that they have the assistant now. Okay, you run, you you run Sol, right? If you don't have Fanak, obviously she's not long lobby. She will be next week. Um, you will be able to run um, Blue Yami here. Okay, Blue Yami is fairly good for this. Okay, his AOE does good damage. The way you want to set up the the auto for this one though is if I uh, if I go back. Um, you always want to do a basic attack first, so you get like the, the buff, then you ult, then you do the AoE. Uh, this way, I'm pr I promise you, this, this works so much better for Yami, by the way. A little like blue Yami tip if you're using him. And then this guy stuns on his uh, uh, combined attack, so you want to run this one. Uh, with Lotus, he has a special one, but in PvE, that special one doesn't doesn't isn't that good. And I don't like Lotus, so I didn't run around him. But he is good for this, obviously. He is good for this, he's AoE, he does really good damage. Um, so you would want to, want to run him, but I was just running blue Yami. But you could run this... Um, Again, Soul over Mars works, but you have to invest into your Soul. She has to be tanky. AI will most likely only attack defenders. Uh, so Soul is good. Soul is good for that. So Soul is also really, really strong defensively, obviously, right? Oh, she's a defender. It makes sense, right? So it's good for this. Now for DPS, you can you can run. Uh, that's not Nebra. Which this is the Lizard one. Wait, what, what's his name again? Whatever. This guy, right? You can run this guy as a DPS, okay? And then you would want to run one more DPS or um, a healer, okay? Uh, a healer would be good too, so you could run Charmy over Fauna, but for the most part, if you can just overpower them with a lot of damage, that's that's going to be the quicker and easier way to do this. Um, again, Jack is not recommended for this. I like to I like doing it with Jack. At some point, it becomes really easy, but first, when you're beating it, uh, because this patch is a thing, you probably want to beat it on uh, on like just normal, like like they're just like um, on manual, sorry, and then you just dispatch right instead of having that but you need the cc requirement so if you're punching up you're gonna have to have a team that can auto beat it by themselves in which case again a healer would be really good but a lot of times you get one shot so i just like just having a strong defender and three dps uh, slash debuffers right uh you can have a debuffer too uh but yeah these these are really good uh for dps blue yami works I've, i was running blue yami like when i first when i was like 40k power down i was, I was running blue yami and it was working just fine um so you can run that uh right like th this could be a team right if you have these this could be a team okay if you don't have lotus but you have mars you can run mars and then instead of this guy uh honestly it doesn't really matter like i run i ran this guy for like the longest time the damage reduction you get at the start of the counter is pretty good uh the buff is really strong it's just the eye is kind of cringe so i don't i, I don't like him uh that much again it's, his name is not nebra but i forgot um this this lizard over here you can run him as a second dps um and then run Charmy for heals, that works, okay? Now, if your blue setup isn't good, like mine on global, isn't good, right? I, I, I have Lotus, but I don't have uh, Mars, and I don't want to get up Sol, but I don't mind getting up Asta. You can run this, Shard is free as well, and I think most people summon on Red Yami, even though you shouldn't, you should, as a, as a free to play, you shouldn't, you should wait, you'll get him on the next banner anyway, I promise. Uh, you'll be upset about pulling him at some time. Um, you can run this team, right, if you have these three. Um, uh, it's showing me blue units, oh, wait. Wait, why? Oh, because I'm in the in this one. Okay. Um, so one thing you can do as well is uh, Veto in the future over Asta. It's going to be really strong. Uh, you can run Finroll if you have Red Yami because he buffs attack, right? Um, that's gonna be that's a really strong strong combo Yami and, and Finroll together. Charlotte's really good. Everyone has Charlotte, right? Because she's given to you for free in the first multi. She's really good for multiple reasons. One. Insane debuff on her ultimate, right? So her ultimate um, reduces the enemy attack by 52%, and this one reduces the defense by 50%, and then grants an extra grants the mark, which if you kill an enemy that has a mark, you get an extra turn, and this works on any character. Okay, also another character also you you, you would want to run in here instead of like full Golion would be um, the seasonal Asa. I don't have him yet. I'm on my season journey where I'm about to get him. If you have him, okay, think think this Asta is the seasonal Asta. Okay, then what you could do is you could you can just run this team. Okay, you can just run these four if you have them, and you would cook. Okay, um, now if you don't have Yami, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. I can't recommend running Bagna. This guy's stun chance is negative. Um, he never stuns whenever I used them in the past in a Korea server. Um, her, I, I personally never used, but I know she's not that bad. I know she's pretty good for farming. Uh, she does burn stuff and burns pretty strong as well. Uh, so you could you could run her. Um, you would want to get her to Alar, but uh, again, you you do this stuff. You, you do everything she, she has to offer, and she she's probably going to be able to carry you. But I, I not as a main DPS, obviously. Um, you could run her over, like, Finroll, maybe, right? Um, this way, you could keep your Asta alive longer. Um, 
Or if you don't have Yami, you can run this team. This team would work. I could run this team perfectly fine. Um, and that's really it. That's really it uh, for red. And then for green, I don't have any green units. So I'm going to go into my career to show you my greens. Um, for my green team, okay, there, well, you don't have these. Um, but Valtos is going to be so good for the magic attack buff and the mobility buff on his ultimate. Rades is going to be a must. I don't think there's a tank you can replace him with. Um, if I could, uh, how do you sort? Uh, oh, well, whatever. Um, whatever. We can, actually, no, I'm just going to go here. Whatever. Uh, am I on the wrong stage? Is that why? Okay, I'm on the wrong stage. That's why. Okay, sick. So for green, okay, I used Yuno, by the way, for the longest time. Yuno's good. Yuno's good at clearing for AoE. Okay, so you could use this Yuno, who is free. Um, Vanessa, I don't, I'm not a fan of. I don't like Vanessa. Uh, her shield in theory sounds really good, but I've, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. In, in practice, I've seen other people use it for like a boss fight on a raid, and I didn't like it. Um, but you want to use magic attackers, which everyone here has magic, right? So these two together, you'd want to run, and then you what you really want to run Radas. I was running Nozel because Nozel for Golden is just such a strong combo that's really underrated. If you have for Golden, he's great. Obviously, if you don't, um, Rill could be a decent option. Rill has stuns. Rill does decent damage. Uh, Rill can get you through this, and then obviously next next week we we get Licht as well. You could Licht is gonna be great in this, right? Obviously, I don't have Raya, uh, but Raya would be good for this too. Um, but yeah, most green cards if you build them up will be okay, right? The most important thing is to have type advantage. Again, I got away with running Nozel here just because I had so much damage on my Fuego Golium. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you can run like these these two together are gonna do a lot of damage. So you need one defensive unit, and then you could had now nah, you can you you really. Like you could run Vanessa for like uh, her defenses and stuff, but like this this team would work. Like that's honestly this team would work. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, that's really it for the comps. And then again, you want to look at which one you want to farm. Uh, they all have the same rate, um, right? If they're in the same like power bracket, they have the same rates. Okay. Uh, so 12, uh, 13 to like 13, 14, 15 have the same one, right? And then 12, 11, 10, 9. No, sorry, 12, 11, 10 have the same one. Um, the 9, 8, 7 have the same one. And then 6, 5, 4 have the same one. 3, 2, 1 have the same one. It's just different sets that they drop. So you want to look at which one we say you want to farm. Again, this one's going to be the easiest for most because most people reroll from Mars and Lotus. Uh, and they make it really easy if you have those two. And then probably you probably got Blue Yami uh, alongside your summons. Um, this one isn't going to... If you have Red Yami, you've got Red Asta, you've got Finn Roll. Uh, this one's going to be pretty uh, straightforward too. Hopefully you get Veto. Uh, because obviously if you run Seasonal Asta, you can't run the Tank Asta. But this is it. This is, this is all you need to know. I don't think... If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments. But I think I'm done with this. Uh, I think I explained everything. Um... Yeah, that's it. I was gonna say like you can get, like the way you get crystals. I think is pretty obvious. There's a whole stage for it. Uh, you also want to check the uh, limited challenges, um, the upgrade materials, right? You want to uh, try and clear them so you can get the uh, these stones. Right? Those, these red ones are for uh, accessories, which we will get later. But they are also very broken. So uh, if I go to my, I'll show you guys um, in my career. If I go to this guy, he has these equipped, right? Uh, which, by the way, getting the UR one and everything is actually so cancer. Um, you mainly get the LR ones from, like, the events. But anyway, so this one would also, like, the main set is never that crazy, right? Um, this one is crazy, though. 10% defense is crazy. Like, defensive units eat from accessories, but offensive units, not, not really. Uh, but there is crit chance. There's crit chance, and it's mainly, like, subsets and, like, running it up. They're not that important, but you won't have them for a while either. And I might do a separate video on those if it's confusing. But I feel like they're even more straightforward. You just run the stats you want. But yeah, that's it from me, I hope. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, good job.